Hi guys, in this video we will learn about variables in Kotlin. So let's start this topic by talking about data and means of handling it. Look at these arithmetic statements. Now here, these numbers here are the data and we are using these arithmetic operators to perform some operations on this data, right? Now in the programming world, data is not used directly but we store this data inside variables and then perform operations on these variables. Wondering what variables are? So, variables are like names that are used to store data. You can think of them like containers that store data. Now, why do you think we need variables in programming? Why can we not directly work with the data? Let's look at this example to understand the reasons. So let's say we want to write a program where the user enters his phone number. We pick up this phone number and process it to take out the first four digits. Then we use these four digits as the user ID for the user. But there is one problem here. We do not know the phone number of the user while writing the program, right? So then, how do we write the program? Well, that's where variables come into the picture. Variables help us deal with data that we don't know upfront. So, we write the program by using variables. So, we can say that a variable number will hold the phone number of the user. Then we will write the code to do some operations on this variable number and store the extracted four digits in the variable user ID. And then we can write a print statement to print the user ID. This means that we can write the program even when we don't know the data. Next, we know that not just one, but a lot of users, perhaps hundreds, thousands or even millions, might come on our app and enter their phone numbers or any other data, right? This is where variables come into use again. We can use only one variable to temporarily store and process all these values entered by the user at one input field. So, variables help us make our programs efficient. So, we've understood the two reasons why variables are used. One, so that we can work with unknown data and second, to make our programs more efficient. Now, variables in Kotlin are of two types, var and val variables. Var stands for variable and val stands for value. Var and val are keywords and so they have special meaning. Variables which use the keyword var can not only store some data but the data inside them can change. So, the contents of a var variable can be reassigned. However, variables with keyword val cannot change the value stored in them. Once a value is assigned to a val variable, it cannot be changed. So, we can say that the contents of a val variable cannot be reassigned. So, we can say that var variables are mutable while val variables are immutable. Now, till now, we have learnt that variables are used because the values stored in them can change. But why do we need variables whose values cannot change? That is, why do we need val variables? So, when the complexity of the code increases, your code will be cleaner, safer and easier to understand if the value of your variables does not change. However, it may not always be possible to have variables with unchangeable values and hence, it is better to have both and use them according to the requirement of the program. So, that was about the two keywords used to define different variables. Are you ready for the quiz time now? Check the screen to see the question. Answer in the comments section below. One lucky winner will receive an exciting Internshala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about variables in Kotlin. This video is a part of Internshala Trainings Android App Development Program. And to learn more about Android App Development, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red bell icon and stay tuned for more videos.